paranormal investigator Chrysel Luna, with eight years of experience exploring haunted places, claims that a peculiar dark presence seems to have attached itself to her, even following her home. In her new apartment in the Dominican Republic, she installs multiple cameras around her home to capture the strange paranormal activity she faces daily. One night, as Chriselle sleeps, her security camera records something unsettling. Eerily, a pillow at the foot of Chriselle's bed starts moving, rocking back and forth without any apparent cause. Following this, a painting on the wall slowly rotates. The sound of the painting scraping along the wall wakes Chriselle, leaving her confused about the strange noise's origin. The next night, she is once again awakened by peculiar sounds but this time the unsettling noises emerge from her empty, dark bathroom. She quickly grabs her phone and starts recording, capturing something absolutely unnerving. <laughs> A eerie, mist-like figure is visible moving around in Chriselle's bathroom. However, when she goes in to investigate, there's nothing there. Is Chriselle haunted by a dark presence? Or is there another explanation? Share your thoughts. You can watch the full video and explore more creepy investigations on Chriselle's YouTube channel, Chriselle Luna. Following scary video is from the TikTok user Anya. She shared a video of something she found perplexing. Her daughter and her friends were playing with a small toy camera she had received as a gift a few years back. They wandered around the house taking random photos of nothing in particular. However, when Anya later scrolled through the photos out of curiosity, she discovered something chilling. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God, what is that? In the photo, there appears to be a tall, dark figure standing, having a peculiar shape resembling a headless person. Both Anya and her daughter are baffled, having no clue about the identity or nature of this unsettling figure. Later, Anya posted an update with a few more details. Okay, so a little explanation on that video that I just uploaded of the photo. Um, so my daughter had a friend over yesterday and they found a little camera with a little little like it's like this big uh that was given to her for christmas a couple years ago um not by us by like a family member and it, she got it when she was like five so 
it's been in their house for a long time. We just don't, she doesn't really use it. She plays around with it sometimes. Anyway, uh, so they found it and they were just taking photos. And so I decided to look at the photos today. So you have to laugh to see like, what silly photos nine year olds take of themselves, you know. And I'm scrolling through and there's like cute selfies, like them playing outside and picture the dog. And then there's that photo. And I go back and forth between that photo and the other photos. There's no like other photos of the kitchen or anything like that. It's literally just, there's only that one photo in from our kitchen. Yeah. Uh, my daughter's at school right now, so I haven't asked her what it could be. It, who knows? It could be them playing around, but it looks very, it looks tall for them. It's short for me. If you compare it in the doorway, it looks like it could be about five five foot something, but I it's who knows. I'm terrible. I, I don't really know. I'm just like, pulling a number out of my ass. So yeah, fun times. Okay, so I'm scrolling, you know, da da da, and I'm like, what is that? What the fuck is that? Like what? What is that? That's right. So that's right here. Excuse how like messy that is, but what is that? It seems Anya may never get a clear answer about what this is. On the side of caution, it might be a good idea to make some way out of this camera as soon as possible. Back in 2016, there's a video that not many folks have watched yet. Even though it doesn't have a lot of views, it's still quite spooky. The person who recorded it is called Leon. Something really weird happened with his closet while he was recording the video. Leon is sharing the video, hoping that the strange event will occur again. Leon waits patiently, but nothing happens. He's sure that just a few minutes ago, the cupboard was moving by itself. However, as he continues to record, nothing strange occurs. That is, until Leon reveals what's inside his wardrobe. Check it out. Voy a, voy a, voy a abrir el, el ropero. There's a reason why there's a clown doll in the closet, according to Leon. He mentions an incident from a few nights ago without giving details. Since then, he put the doll in the closet to avoid a repeat. Leon admits that getting rid of it would be better, but it's a valuable family heirloom, so tossing it out isn't an option. However, as he keeps recording, something occurs that changes his mind. Take a look. Not expecting much, Leon records this moment. The wardrobe starts shaking intensely as if someone trapped inside is trying to get out. It rocks back and forth, suggesting a struggle. 
However, as we witnessed, there's nothing visible to explain the movement. Leon even shows the surroundings to confirm that there's no one behind it. Like many videos, this one is quite peculiar. What do you think caused the wardrobe to move like that? Following scary video is from the TikTok user Leanne. Leanne and her family moved into their new house. They weren't aware of its history or the previous owners. Later, they discovered that a man had taken his own life in the house many years ago. Even more peculiar, the previous owner claimed the house was haunted by the man's ghost and had left out of fear. Shortly after settling in, strange and unexplainable occurrences began. One day, Leanne noticed her six-year-old son, Dylan, displaying some very peculiar behavior. <laughs> Young Dylan, engaged in playing with his toys in the living room, audibly expresses, who is that? Subsequently, Dylan appears to focus on something unseen, swiftly turning around with an apparent sense of fear, as if he felt a touch from behind. The unsettling events intensify further. One autumn day, while Leanne is outside filming Dylan playing in the fallen leaves, an eerie incident unfolds. joyfully tosses leaves around and then, seemingly targeting an unseen presence, he throws his toy. Suddenly, an unknown force forcefully pushes him to the ground. Leanne becomes convinced that the spirit haunting their house is now targeting her six-year-old son. Following this video and several other unsettling incidents, Leanne and her family decide to move out. Despite residing in the house for only seven months, they no longer feel safe. Was Leanne's house truly haunted by the former tenant? What are your thoughts on this? Following scary video is from the Fran Devil from Mexico. He shares a frightening experience. Francesco has been documenting his recent encounters with the paranormal over the past few months, seeking help and advice on social media. After moving into a new house, strange things started happening to him. He would hear loud bangs during the day and night, creepy laughter echoed through his home, and his things would be mysteriously misplaced. Francesco believes he's being haunted by a dark and malicious entity, and judging by the comments under his videos, it seems many others agree. In the first clip, Francesco, who is alone at the time, hears loud noises from his bathroom. He grabs his phone, starts recording, and goes to investigate. Empiezo a grabar porque estoy collando sonidos desde el baño muy raro. Y estoy solo en casa. Loud banging sounds are heard from inside Francesco's bathroom. He opens the door, 
finding nothing visibly wrong. But then, the shower curtain starts moving on its own, eventually falling off and crashing to the floor, as if something unseen pulled it down. Unfortunately for Francesco, this is just the beginning of his unsettling experience. Mi nueva casa está embrujada. Hola. Acabo de activar la cámara, chico, porque estoy escuchando sonidos de nuevo que vienen de la habitación. Hola. ¿Qué es lo que quieres? ¿Hay alguien en mi casa? ¿Hay alguna entidad? ¿Hola? Miren, 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 chicos, miren. ¿Hola? Francesco discovers a child's toy keyboard playing by itself and can't be switched off. A sudden loud bang startles him. Later that night, he hears disruptive noises from the opposite end of his hallway, and a door shuts right in front of him, leaving Francesco thoroughly creeped out. In the next clip, he is once again disturbed by loud bangs and bravely decides to investigate. Señoras, estoy grabando porque estoy escuchando otra vez los sonidos. Escuche. Hola. Terrified by these strange events and feeling helpless, Francesco seeks help by online community. De locos. Acabo de encender las luces. Me acaba de despertar un golpe de loco fuera de mi cuarto. Entonces yo quiero pedir a alguien que sepa de, de cosas paranormales, ¿no? Que si me puede ayudar me deje algún consejo en la caja de comentarios porque encima hoy me entero de que falleció una anciana en esta casa. O sea, yo me fui de mi anterior casa porque creía que era la casa y no, hay algo que me persigue. Y no sé si tendré un don o no, pero es una cosa de loco, señores. En la caja de comentarios, por favor, si me pueden dar algún consejo urgente de que pueda hacer, se los agradecería. Francesco reaches out online, looking for someone knowledgeable about paranormal matters. He shares that he discovered an old woman had passed away in his house. He also expresses the feeling of being followed, recounting similar terrifying experiences from his previous home. Determined to seek help, Francesco manages to retrieve the contact details of a priest he knew from the past and calls him for assistance. Buenas, Padre José. Mire que me han dado su número y quiero hacerle una consulta, si no es molestia, eh, que me están sucediendo cosas en mi casa paranormales y llevo por lo menos eh, cuatro meses con esto, entonces a ver si usted me, pod me podría ayudar, mm, yo lo conozco desde que era pequeñito, lo que no sé si se acuerda de mí, soy Frank, yo creo que sí, se acuerda cuando iba a la iglesia, con mi madre y eso, por favor necesito su ayuda. Francisco, yo te conozco desde que eras chico y no es la casa, no es la casa, eres tú. Pero Padre José, eh, ¿qué es lo que tengo pegado a mí? 
porque ya si no es la casa, algo tengo que tener, ¿no? Francisco, eso lo tendrás que averiguar por ti mismo. Y te aseguro que no es nada fácil. Pero son cosas paranormales, que mucha gente se cree que no existe, pero ahí están. Lo estás viviendo en tus propias carnes y te tendrás que averiguarlo por ti mismo. Pero Padre José, usted no me puede ayudar, Padre José, por favor, y lleva una mano. Francisco, esas son cosas que son inevitables. Yo mismo lo he vivido y me estuvieron persiguiendo igual que usted. Y tienes que conseguirlo y averiguarlo por ti mismo. Son cosas inevitables. Así que te deseo lo mejor y espero que salgas de todo esto, que no es nada fácil. Vale, Padre José, pues nada. Muchas gracias por su ayuda, que ha sido ninguna. Vale, venga. Following a discussion with Father Jose about the unsettling events in his home, Francesco is left with a chilling revelation. It's not the house that's haunted. The entity is actually following Francesco throughout his entire life. Fortunately, the disturbances calm down for a few weeks. However, one night, Francesco is awakened by frightening noises from another part of his house. Too scared to confront it, he decides to leave his phone recording and captures the eerie sounds. A terrifying noise resembling raspy breathing and moaning echoes from somewhere in Francesco's house. The incident leaves him deeply frightened, convinced that whatever is haunting him is growing stronger, especially since he has never heard such sounds before. In this concluding clip, Francesco's instinctive feeling proves to be accurate. Chicos, estoy escuchando ruido super fuerte y empezamos a grabar. Son las 12 de la noche. Mira, está ahí fuera el ruido. Escucha, me conviene eso. Qué coño. Mira. Qué coño es eso. Upon hearing another loud noise, Francesco investigates. When he turns on the light, several loud knocks follow and a creepy pale face suddenly appears at the door. Francesco, frightened by what he sees, quickly flees in the opposite direction. These clips leaves all the viewers scared, with many believing Francesco is haunted by something evil. However, some argue that Francesco staged the whole thing for just fame. What's your take? Do you think Francesco is genuinely haunted, or was it all just for views? Share your thoughts. On the Ghost Club Paranormal YouTube channel, a woman named Jade takes on the task of investigating the abandoned Woodman Orphanage. Established in 1928, this building was once home to over 100 orphans. What was once a joyful place for children turned dark after the owners passed away. A sinister cult leader later bought the building, using it for chilling rituals. Now, badly deteriorating. Jade cautiously steps inside for her investigation. Dying, look at that. The door is even still on it, too. That is like a nightmare. So, reports were a four-year-old child fell down the shaft after the doors had opened and they weren't aware that the elevator did not work and they fell to their death. I'm gonna... No, no, don't go in there. Right, I'm just gonna make sure I got it good. Look at that, turn your camera off. Huh? your light off of it? <gasps> Did you hear that? They yeah. just went up too, Jay. They just shot up too. I don't know if there's somebody here. We need to... Cam. The investigation kicked off with a loud noise from upstairs. Jade then tried to make contact using a REM pod, 
but something unexpected was captured. This might be a good time to also say that Jim is not here with us today because I had planned this investigation a while back. Um, but I'm so glad that we are out here finally doing this. When I came out to Texas last year to do the Goatman's Bridge episode, um, it was actually one of the girls that we met on the bridge. <gasps> it's, it's lighting up. So yeah, the only thing that it is lighting up though. So yeah, the only thing that it is lighting up though. So yeah, the only thing that it is lighting up though. A disembodied male voice is heard multiple times, with all its utterances seemingly directed towards Jade. Even after moving to a different part of the building, these mysterious voices persist. We're taking the creepy basement way. Okay, we can walk out the front door, but no, we're taking the creepy basement way. <laughs> I just heard somebody talk. Did you hear that? It's like a humming again. Little did she know what could be soon captured on camera. Definitely know what you're talking about. And whoever is here is totally fine talking to us as well. Into us as well. Into us as well. Into us as well. Way. A shadowy figure is captured on camera. This strange figure seems to morph before swiftly moving down the hallway. Although they didn't notice it in the moment, it doesn't seem to be one of their shadows. Before concluding their investigation for the night, they decide to explore one more room, only to make a startling discovery. We found an there's another. <gasps> Dude, no way. Yep. What? Oh my god. It's Can you knock on something? I don't want to leave, but I mean, we have no source of communication right now, so just in case something does happen. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh shit. Calm down, calm down. Just don't, don't, no. Okay. Okay. Just calm down. A loud bang echoes from somewhere in the building. These strange occurrences throughout the night further add credibility to the rumors of the Woodman Orphanage being haunted. <laughs> 